All right, and we are live. Uh, what's up, folks? Uh, this is a new version of Let's Trailer Reaction. We're actually doing Let's uh, Hasbro Pulse Fan Fest Con Reaction. I think it was called Hasbro Pulse Fan Fest uh, 2021. So a whole bunch of toys were revealed uh, by Hasbro Pulse this past Friday. Uh, Sean's got a Cyborg Superman, uh, Cy Cyborg Spider-Man uh, on, on the screen right now. Um, so <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm joined by a host of guests, Yeah, a lot of good friends of mine. So we've got Sean from Hype Action in here. Uh, if you're looking for some great streetwear, uh, hit up his site. Uh, there's a link in the description of the video. Uh, and I've got three friends from the store that uh, I don't know if they're working on other projects that we'll let them drop later on. Uh, but Jonathan Yo, say hi. Good friend of the shop. Um, and we got Tim Clark. Hello. Good buddy. Yeah. And then uh, you often see him here, Pat. Oh, what happened to John? We, dropped, we lost John for a second, so hopefully he'll be right back. Um, but we got Pat here, who is on a lot of our videos here and there, so an often contributor, and you can see his credentials right behind him uh, if you're talking about toys. So say what up, Pat. What's up, guys? <clears throat> yeah, all right. So a uh, whole bunch of stuff revealed during uh, Hasbro Pulse Fan Fest. We've got uh, G.I. Joe's, Transformers, Marvel Legends, um, what am I missing? Power Rangers, Fortnite, um, Star Power Wars, Rangers, yep. yeah, and mm -hmm. and Fortnite. So hold on a second. Let me. I got John back here. Welcome back, John. <laughs> we lost you for a second. Can you hear me, John? I don't know if John can hear me. Hello, who? John. All right. Give him a second to stabilize. Yo, um, man, I need to get some Power Ranger figures. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. It's, some cool fix. So <laughs> let's let's talk a little bit about what was what was shown off. Um, we're gonna talk about the let's. You guys want to hit the Fortnite stuff first? Yeah. 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 Okay. So I've got some pictures of the Fortnite yeah, yeah. stuff. Um, if you can help me fill in the the blanks of the names of the characters, uh, <laughs> I don't know all of them. So let's let's show off. So so previously Fortnite was done by uh, McFarlane and Jawwares, and now it has moved over to the Hasbro banner. I don't know if they've taken over everything. Um, and I think we lost John again. So hopefully we get him. <laughs> um so let's let's take a look so there's there's this guy here um let me try and f pull his name up i can't say i know his name to be honest yeah yeah <laughs> i don't like, know he's probably just like a costume man he just looks cool though i i just i i love the sickle i love the gun i love the little the 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 you know his backpack bling i mean there they're actually it, it, yeah. he looks cool he looks menacing you know what i mean yeah he he looks yeah, so he'd be a cool batman villain yeah you know what i mean yeah, like a, like a weird, like a weird kind of scarecrow. Yeah, he gives me a, a TF2 vibe. Anybody play Team Fortress 2? No, he kind of looks like the yeah, spy. like the pyro, right? Yeah, he kind of looks, like the, spy. Spy yeah, he looks with, like the spy. He looks a yeah. spy mixed with the pyro. Yeah, oops, sorry, all the way. Uh -huh. Technical yeah, yeah, yeah. issues here. All right, well, we also lost John, so other John, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry. <laughs> problem with trying to do these things live all right there we go here we go here he's back so this is a guy well i was trying to pull his name up but everything like just foobarred on me so we'll, let's let's keep it rolling here um so this character here um i think she's links links yeah, by the yes. correctly yeah i liked yeah. how they yeah. uh i liked that the fact that oh that's midas but yeah for her I, what i yeah. liked about her was the uh de the deco that they did on the on the costume um i felt that was really really cool um, I also like the fact that they've now done the uh, new double jointed, double joints, pinless joints for both the yeah, elbows. Yeah, yeah. So these the these female figures have mm -hmm. double pinless mm -hmm. elbows or something like that, which was a big deal uh, yeah. on the stream. So I'm looking looking forward to that. Um, and then this guy here, I think you were saying is Midas. Um, this came yeah. in some special package where you get like the Joker and a bunch of DC skins, and then you get this guy. Yeah, um, this this guy looks cool i love the look i love that like look at that secondary head that he comes with like i want this figure i i don't play the game i i kind of yeah. did for a little bit but i love the like i love the backpack bling i love that helmet i mean look at him he looks like he's out of either destiny like out of the game out of a sci-fi cool game yeah like like i love this and i love that sure. new character too i love that new, yeah, new yeah, main yeah. character right yeah, so I'm I'm new to Fortnite. Me and Pat actually play uh, quite a bit here and there. So we I'm new, so I don't know the history behind a lot of these characters. So some of these characters are going to be brand new to me. Uh, so apologies to you, Fortnite fans. Uh, we're we're just looking at the figures, and we all, we all I think we generally all think they're really cool. Um, this guy here, the um, slurp dude, slurp. Yeah, like this one is, and it's got like all these transparent <laughs> effects. Yeah, like th that's cool. Um, and then this, this guy, the, the shark, the loot shark. So you usually yeah, find this guy so like, in the uh, 
the crystal area, the the waterfall area in the top of the map, uh, and he's got a whole bunch of crap inside of him. Like, yeah, that's cool actually that? really funny. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. actually really yeah. funny. He has a fishing rod and he has a large shield potion. Come on, that's really funny. yeah, yeah. I, I love that. Uh, yeah, I really want that shield potion. Um, that's and then funny. we'll we'll hit this guy. Uh, I think it's like meow meowsels or something. This one was some cool. Yeah, yeah. Meowsels, but meows it's just a black meowsel. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, and I think a lot of people are going to buy it just because of this uh, weight set uh, behind him here. Weight set. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, w I, w I want. I want that gym for my He-Man guys because my He-Man guys the are gym, all like, but you can get this. This old muscular. Yeah. <laughs> what is that thing on top next to the gun? Is that his. Is that his back bling? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, it's that. like a ball of yarn with uh. Oh, that's funny. With like oh, mouse grenades or something. Yeah, yeah. it's really funny. That's and funny. actually the the pink. Uh, the pink uh, handles on the barbell, on the, on the dumbbell, and, and on the yeah. is, is like yarn, yeah, like wrapped yarn around it. That's yeah. really cool. Oh, no that's way. really funny. <laughs> yeah, and then this is another deluxe. I think this is their deluxe figure pack. Yeah, so. I think her I name don't know is if this guy. I think it was Sky. Sky. Okay, yeah, thanks, yeah. John. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know if this gun exists in the game, Pat. Do you remember? Have you seen this suction cup? Uh, Not pack? yet, oh, but then they rotate yeah. guns in and out of seasons, right? In the past yeah, two yeah. seasons, I, we, I yeah. haven't seen it. Yeah, yeah, we just started. So if it exists, uh, is yeah. that like a grapple gun or something? Though looks That's like what it. we're thinking. Yeah, yeah, it is a grapple gun. <laughs> somebody's yeah. a, somebody's gonna be like, "Oh, you guys, it was a gun from season one." We're like, All <laughs> yeah. right. our, our apologies. We just we just think that, right. we just think those right, figures dude. are very cool. Um, so much so that I think yeah, we would all really instantly pick those figures uh, for our game later. So we're actually excluding the Fortnite from our game later. So we'll get to that, and then let's hit the. Uh, We'll hit the other general reveal. So we're we're just talking about everything lightning, folks, and then we're gonna actually go more in depth when we kind of start playing our game, um, which I hope you will stay tuned for. And yeah, yeah, we're gonna play your game. Don't worry, Pat. It's right. It's right in your wheelhouse. So let's go with here. So so these are the Joe figures that they revealed. So these are the new GI Joe movie figures: Snake Eyes, Storm Shadow, and a couple other other characters. I don't know if you, there's a there's it's a, a color Scarlet Reed. Baroness, and it's yeah. a new character called Akiko, I think. Yeah. Um, so yep. she doesn't exist anywhere outside. It's she was specifically made for the movie. Yeah. yeah so they, they look they look pretty good. Um, I I should have said this earlier. Like, uh, who who is in the Joe game? Are we all in the Joe game right now? Yeah, I think so. I'm definitely not. Oh yeah. So so aside from Pat, I think all of us delve in, into a little bit of everything. Actually, we'll get into let, let's let's fly through these and then we'll talk a little bit about what you guys normally collect. So this is a Eye of Agamotto. This was uh, cool. Prop. This was Repl cool. Repl this was cool. Yeah. They they, yeah. they they described yeah. it as saying like you can actually take out the stone, and it actually yeah. will stay lit for about two or three minutes, and then it will turn off. Mm -hmm. But it basically keeps charged up, so you can when you open it up, you can actually take it out. So the soul stone. Yeah. So that was actually really yeah. cool. Yeah, that's cool. All right, so we got the new wave of Marvel Legends. Yep. Oh, bro okay. typical fair stuff. Yeah, bro, bro Thor. Thor. Um, <laughs> finally, finally like got that. our our modular order there. Yeah. Um yeah. Pat, I know you're 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 eyeing this girl over here, right? Dark gonna, Star. Gonna start... Dark Star. <laughs> Dark <laughs> From what, Star what's the, of the Winter what's Guard. The name? Oh, the Winter Guard. This is like a an, a team that I didn't think anyone guard, would end up yeah. I <laughs> and I had a major. discussion like last week about where, where the Red Guardian actually came from. And I said, in the books, he was part of the Winter Guard at some point with Dark Star, Ursa Major, and Crimson Dynamo. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm like, who asked for this? But um, <laughs> next next slide, we got this guy, Ursa Major. I, I want this yeah. figure. I, I yeah, want this figure. yeah. <laughs> Our vodka loving him. bear. It is a man bear. Like, look at him. Look how <laughs> badass he looks. I mean, like, it just looks great. He yeah, does I, I won't lie. I was yeah. I was funning on Pat earlier, but now that I see it up close, it looks pretty good. <laughs> yeah. It does. <laughs> like, it really does. He's gonna need this guy. Like it looks though, you can all actually right. put him into like right on. Like he can go on all fours or whatever. You know what I mean? Like it just looks cool. Yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. And then we got the new Power Rangers. So four new Rangers. Um, I think they're, they're done in metallic color. metallic yeah. colors. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. like a yeah. it's like a metallics. I think it's a metallic sparkle mix or something. They yeah. Were they already they they released the pink one already. Like last yeah. fan fest, they already released yeah. it. Like there's a lot. Of, it's already in a lot of people's hands. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So there's there's the new Power Ranger stuff. This is the new Black Series line. Um got Pat Girl on the end at the it's, end here. <laughs> it's Sasha Banks without Sasha Banks' head. I'm not a fan. <laughs> no, no, no. It's got the, it's got the I'm pretty sure it has like a, a on the masked head as well. Yeah, as of right now, yeah, the pictures yeah. do not have the helmet. 
Can, if, is it actually her? What? Oh, no, like that. They well, they showed the on, on the stream. They showed there was a s- picture of her without the helmet on. Yeah. Does it look yeah. good? Tell me, tell me, does it look good? It looked kind of like her. It looked. It was decent. <laughs> it looked. Yeah. All right. It was decent. Yeah, All right. yeah. So may or may not have Sasha Banks head because I was telling Patty he's gonna have to buy a wrestling figure in in. I already have that. He's, he's got it ready. He's, he's got that yeah, ready yeah. to go. I already oh, have his special wow. legs, but the, the, like the oh, hair is like not accurate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, and then they also dropped this new vintage line. So this is typically, you can correct me if I'm wrong, this is reprints of older figures that become harder to get on the vintage style carding. Um, so uh, I, I do have a bunch of these Shadow Troopers, um, and I think I have this Purge Trooper as well. These are the three and three quarter inch. These aren't the uh, these aren't Star Wars. Oh, is this the wrong size? Okay. I'm yeah, vintage yeah, collection are, are the three and three quarter inch. Yeah. Okay. So I might. Oh yeah. There's like a handful. So I might have grabbed the wrong yeah. picture. So apologies. Yeah. Um. And then these are some. Well, there's two sets, yeah. right? They're both vintage. There was there was yeah. a vintage game line, which are those ones, and then there's there was four other new vintage. There was an Akbar, a Solo, a Luke, and what was the other one? There's one more. Oh, yeah. I might. I might. I might have it on our game later. So. Okay. Cool. You know, I. I, I I put the I put this together late last night, so I guess I must have completely grabbed the wrong photo. Oh, it was an Emperor's, yeah. Emperor's Guard. Transformers. Emperor's Guard. Yeah, yep. yeah. So these, yeah, so these <laughs> Transformers guys. Um, so we're getting a good mix of like Beast, uh, Beast War stuff and like traditional old school stuff now, yep. right? Mm-hmm. So the old the school stuff line, with twenty twenty yeah. technology. Yeah. Let me add, that's the yeah, key. Twenty twenty one technology. Oh right, yeah, 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 yeah. Twenty twenty one, guys. Yo, and then. Uh, the These ones are Voyager class, Pat. If you, you can correct um, me. The no. arc is a Titan, and Titan. Rodimus Prime is a Commander class. Yeah, Commander class. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what's this yeah. little dinosaur dude at the bottom here? It's it's supposed to be a Voyager class, but I think it's the same size as the deluxe ones, but they're just a bunch of stuff. Yeah, and it's a Pulse yeah. exclusive, from what I understand. Yes. Yeah. Interesting. All right, so we're yeah, putting in a Pulse yeah. order. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, out. you know what? No, 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 no. It'll pop up on. It'll pop up in like on like EB for like. 20 minutes yeah and they'll be sold <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah they did that last all right. time all right and it, who, who's this guy Yo, you know that? this is it's blur. a shattered glass blur dude blur. Oh. <laughs> yeah blur but like from like shattered glass universe remember how there was that two pack with like the purple prime and like the purple ratchet yeah yeah, from yeah. the same universe yeah yeah so these are, so i just don't want to reach i just don't want to grab it it's too far yeah, so this uh, <laughs> he's he this so this blur is is uh, from Shattered Glass. So he this is the evil version of Blur, yeah. right? So yeah. the op- the Autobots are evil and the Decepticons are good in this universe. Yeah. I, and this is one of crazy. this is one of five. So I think each of these will come with a IDW comic, and they're just you oh, know it's mm-hmm. a five issue comic. Oh. And I think there's, there's like a special foil cover that comes with these. It's like the whole package, I guess. You're gonna get so it's gonna be like game. it's gonna be like sixty bucks for no reason at all. Yeah, and <laughs> I think it's got some. I think it's also got some really cool like metallic uh, art decos on the sculpt. So you basically, so when it's just you know when it hits gets reflected in the in the light, it will actually will be the the same kind of like what you see with the Autobot symbol in the back, where it's kind of have this shattered glass look. So, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, cool, cool. And then the, and then the big boy in the oh. show is this uh, <laughs> fancy <laughs> Optimus Prime. So let, let me get this the off the screen. And they, they actually, yeah, yeah. So this this Optimus Prime was developed by a company called uh, RoboSen, and they actually just dropped the trailer today. So I figured we play the trailer, uh, and then we'll do a quick reaction to it, and then we'll we'll, we'll talk a little bit about. I'd like to know what what kind of like figures are in your guys' wheelhouse and stuff like that. So we'll talk about that, and we'll play our quick game, and hopefully, uh, hopefully everyone finds that entertaining. <laughs> so let me let me play this demo uh, video that they released today. It's about a minute in change. Uh, so I, I actually haven't seen it, so I don't know if you guys saw that the figure being demoed during the stream or not. Um, but let's let's pop this on the screen and uh, hopefully we'll have some fun with it. From across the galaxy, an unforgettable hero is about to return. Wow, it's so extra. <laughs> Introducing the world's first <laughs> auto converting, interactive, voice enabled, programmable Autobot hero. Optimus Prime. The Transformers toy that defined a generation comes to life by the command of your voice or <laughs> mobile device. Uppercuts. <laughs> Standing an amazing 19 inches tall, 5,000 components finished with premium Whoa. materials make this G1 Optimus Prime impressively authentic, even speaking with the original voice. 
60 microchips power the 27 high-performance servo motor joints. Unbelievable. Empowering Optimus Prime to fully auto-convert and operate in both robot and vehicle mode. Control your Optimus Prime with an extensive library of voice commands. <laughs> Are we like friends? Attack, <laughs> or use the mobile app. Every collector will enjoy oh the preloaded actions waddles. with more to come via download. <laughs> that unlock new features and the ability to create your own sequences with graphical programming oh. within the app. And he's Built dancing by Robosyn and licensed by Hasbro. This limited edition Optimus Prime delivers endless ability to save the planet interactively. Like that's crazy. Does anyone not not has anyone not seen the price? I'd, I'd like to give you a guess at it. Pat, do you know the price of this thing? I told you the price. Okay, so all of us know the price. I know the price. I know the price. <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay, so everyone knows the price. What's what's the price, everybody? A kidney. 700 <laughs> US. So 700 US. Canadian. Yes, yes. So it's going to be, I, I feel like it's going to be more Canadian by the time you import it and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I'm I'm kind of like, I don't know, like, uh, if you guys have ever tried to use your voice activation features in your car or or if you've tried to use Siri and stuff like that, <laughs> I'd say I've got like maybe a 20% success rate. So I feel like this Optimus is going to be like all over the place. And unless it comes with a Megatron, they can fight. I don't know if I'm going to pony up the uh, the the 1000 yeah. plus dollars for it. Um, I'll, I'll go to Sean first. Sean, are you? I, I think you might be in on the HasLab Sentinel. Um, would you give up your HasLab Sentinel for this Optimus? <laughs> Uh you know it's it's a cool Optimus and like it has the right size, but I don't know. <laughs> I, I think yeah. I keep my ad lab to be honest. I think like you're saying, like when it comes down to really like the voice activation part, I can only imagine like if I'm in a meeting at work and then it's like right next to me and then it just starts going off, you know, for free <laughs> and all this, you know. <laughs> Wait, how's that bad though? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get blaster fire like in the background during, during the meeting. That'd be amazing. one shall stand, one shall fall. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, Pat. You're the you're the you're the hardcore Transformers guy. We can tell by all the pictures behind you. Um, are you gonna have this in your collection? Um, let's say let's say that you can afford it. You can buy it. Are you are you gonna are you gonna do it? If the problem is. Is it going to start a precedent that they're going to do like a ton of these, or is it just a one-time <laughs> thing? Can I think you imagine? One time, they, I think can you Max imagine if they made a true. Megatron and then and you they make a Megatron, Megatron and like a Starscream and like a Bumblebee? Do I need four of them? And then they're going to like, I got to like get four iPhones and play Rock'em Sock'em Robots with my thousand-dollar toys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and maybe they'll add a Grimlock, and you have to talk this to be them the new masterpiece in, line in, Grim, in Grimlock <laughs> speak. <laughs> like, I mean, I don't know, man. Like the problem is, I. What if I drop it? <laughs> like, it's, just, it's, it's, just, totally it's got like twenty-seven go servos. You're gonna have to put a thousand-dollar toy. With that said, I might get it anyways. But that's not the point. The point is like it, it's. It seems kind of unnecessary. Like nobody asked for it. Is what I'm trying to say. Like nobody asked for this. What 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 happened? Like what is the purpose of this? Who actually wanted this? Like, who woke up one morning and said, let's make a 21-inch or 19-whatever-inch-tall auto-transforming Optimus Prime and price it at a 1000 Canadian dollars and see yeah, who yeah, bites? Yeah. So, 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 John, you're pretty good with technology. Does, does this appeal to you? Are you, are you, are you checking As, your savings and seeing if they have payment <laughs> plans for this? As a proof of concept and just kind of like the technology behind it, this is really amazing. As an actual toy, though... It's not in my wheel yard. Like we all bought transformers yeah. and we all enjoy transforming them. That's part of the fun of a transformer, right? Yeah. I mean, I don't think you can move any of this without, you know, shredding 80 gears in an arm. So pretty much the only activity you're getting out of this is, hey, Optimus, convert. And then that's all it does. And then like it'll do other stuff. Don't get me wrong. And you can, you know, program actions and stuff. But I think it's more of a... Hey, showpiece. Let's let's pull it out when there's a party and everybody can yeah, watch yeah. this. As well, opposed it's, it's like, to something it's like, it's like you what, if you with. ever move an arm of something that's supposed to have like some electronic feature, and you hear like click, 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 and you're like, oh yeah, 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 yeah you're kind of yeah. you're kind of done it up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so so Tim, you're 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 a, you're a little you're me and you are older than all these guys. Um, so we've been around the block a couple times. Um, 
when you were growing up, did you ever say, I wish this transformer could transform itself? <laughs> no, but this is what I'm going to say. Watching this yesterday and uh, seeing when Kevin Smith and, and, his, and, and Jason, uh, I forget what his last name, came, came on. And then they said, you know, you know, auto, you know, Optimus transform and it transforms. And I'm looking at it. And I'm like, well, that's kind of cool. And then I'm looking at the legs and I'm looking at the feet just sort of sticking together. And I'm like, oh, OK, it's just going to be one of those, you know, just transforms. And that's it. Like this is for a kid or whatever. Right. And then when the legs separated, I was like, oh, damn, I love it. <laughs> I honestly did. Dude, that thing looks amazing. Like I want one at a thousand dollars. But that to me is just I mean, even though it, it's like it's, it's like we want to do the transformation ourselves. I find that this thing is really cool. Now, I can't see them doing a huge toy line of this. This is a very unique, very niche item. So I see this being as like Optimus. And then if it sells well, then they probably have in plans maybe, you know, like a Megatron to go along with it. I can't see a Starscream. I could possibly see a Grimlock, but I can't, or even a Soundwave. Something that where, you know, the, the transformation isn't too complex, you know, but like a star scream or anything like that, that's way too complex. But could you imagine them, you know, now it's like, hey, we're going to try and do a $2,000 Fortress Maximus that now can transform from a, <laughs> from a from a battle station into the robot, you made, know. Made by Tesla. I, th I think you're right. I actually feel like <laughs> made Grimlock and maybe, yeah, and maybe uh, Soundwave would potentially yeah. be next. No, no, but the problem, but it has to be. It has to be really, really simple transformations, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Say what you will about like, Optimus. Optimus. Optimus is a very simple transformation. His yeah. arms fold in, he rotates, and he's done, right? But can you, yeah. like, and maybe Soundwave, sure, yeah. right? But, like, but, 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 like but correct me if I'm Star wrong. Screen? Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't remember any point in the cartoon where Optimus is on the ground um, waiting for his legs to flip around. Well, no, <laughs> it happens so quickly, you don't see it. That's why. Yeah. This is but, slowed down. Yeah. This is real but time. This, so if you go frame by frame, he's on the floor <laughs> waiting. Yes. For his legs to I honestly around. say, I'll say this. Yesterday, this was the highlight of the entire streaming event for Hasbro Fest was this, was this reveal of this figure. This is just an amazing piece. I like, like, uh, as John said, I mean, like, the concept here is really amazing. I think this 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 will lead, I think, to some other really cool. Like, could you imagine them doing now a Gundam, or you know, not with just Hasbro, but the company RoboSen doing like a Gundam, or any or Evangelion or Macross? I mean, they, they they've kind of opened up this great new door with robotics, yeah. and this is what I think is really cool, right? So yeah. you know, yeah. yeah one, looks, one of the guys see, in the comments mentioned it's sold out, and it's, uh, yeah, it's gone. Uh, and yeah. this and this yeah. and this this is for like that hot toys fan. This is for those high premium fans of, of really good collectibles. And so, you know, it, it's like this is something like down the road. They're gonna they might even do a second release. Who knows? You know, like in another two years, maybe they they keep instead of being a waddling optimist, it's just gonna move normal, right? So yeah. I, yeah. I so love the this. thing yeah. is I mean the 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 second part of this we're not talking about is the phone app side. Yeah, right. And that's yeah. that's all software. Yeah. So that's easily upgradable, right? Like down the line, the company might be like, you know, you know, right, right now Optimus Prime waddles, you know, you might get him start, you know, actually walking. Like you can program stuff yourself, you know, with, cool. within these certain moves and, and construct yeah. something together. Um, but that doesn't say the company can fine tune and, and add more of these as, as yeah. they go on. Yeah, I, I just man. I think this is great as an old as as an, as probably the oldest guy here in this whole group, man. Like this, this is awesome. I love it. I love how this this can lead to some really cool toys down the line. Price wise, this is definitely meant for like that premium collector. Uh, and I mean, you'll see it at shows and conventions, and there might be one or two which floating around. Um, but I, you know, I don't see a kid playing with this. This isn't for kids. No, this is for like this man. is for us gray beards. You know. Now, now that it's sold out, I really want one. <laughs> uh oh, FOMO. I know. I think um, so, I I yesterday into that. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, it I was available that, yesterday like, for a while like... for sure. Oh, yeah. So sure. I'm just going to wait for somebody like, to buy it and if have they were to make another one. <laughs> if they were to make another one and I did mm -hmm. Soundwave, that'd be perfect. Because, like, imagine the application. You, you, I think John said it that, like, if you use it with your phone, like, what if it could be, even be like a Bluetooth speaker? Oh yeah, that just yeah. that'd be amazing, yeah. right? And yeah, and uh, Sean, you got like you you signed up for that Sentinel, right? You yeah, got, you're getting, yeah, you're getting that. Yeah, so if you're getting that, could you imagine them taking the the idea behind Optimus and putting it into a Sentinel? That's gonna be oh awesome. My God, 
<laughs> I don't even know what to say about that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah. that would be. That would oh, yeah, be. Yeah. So, so, so Pete in the comments said uh, he he pre-ordered one. So, hey man, oh, man, you might you might be able to cash in though. So even if Yo, you have, Pete, what was the more, shipping on that? Oh, yeah. I'm curious. Yeah, yeah. Could have been a flat rate shipping. <laughs> I wonder what the shipping cost was. That it's probably coming yeah, yeah. pretty big box. Well, yeah, I honestly even, didn't even, think it would be sold out yeah. in like a day at a thousand dollar Canadian, like eight seven hundred dollars American. I didn't think it would be sold out that quickly. I thought I would have a couple of days to decide. Oh <laughs> no, 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 no! You snooze, you lose, man. You I snooze. did. Yeah. I actually yeah. thought it was a Haslab thing, so I had an open period. Yeah, man. <laughs> okay, so be, so before we get into my into my game, uh, thank you all you guys for joining me last minute. I kind of came up with this idea, um, and and you guys are all willing to uh, to hop on here. And thank you, John, for doing a lot of the uh, the the pre work, even though I've kind of messed it up. Um, but um, let's 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 go around uh, the the table or the or the or the Zoom screen and, and talk a little bit about what what's kind of your jam, and we'll stick to, stick to Hasbro uh, type stuff. So I I kind of like I'm a almost a chameleon. I do a little bit of everything. Uh, legends. Um, not as much into Transformers uh, as some of you guys, or, or, or as Pat, as you can see behind him. So, uh, Sean, Sean, what's your what's your jam of the of these kind of Hasbro stuff? Sorry, Sean, Sean, Sean. Okay, all right. Uh, so for me, I think I'd definitely be getting that Rhinox, and definitely going to be getting the uh, the Scorpionock. Like that's yeah. Well, that's just, just talk about brands beautiful. in general. Like your your so Transformers, Transformers guy, guy oh. mainly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Transformers. Transformers and definitely Marvel Legends. So those are those yeah. are things. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, John, you're kind of. An, I, I feel like you're a little bit newer getting into it. This, like, you start getting some Joes and stuff. Uh, I mean, I've the, always been a Transformers my, guy. Yeah. Um, right. It's always been my thing. I I collect a lot of masterpiece stuff. So for me, it'd be mainly Transformers and, uh, the the GI Joe classified line has really caught my eye. That's there's been some pretty good stuff in there. They're a good mix of like what they used to look retro wise with with a little bit of modern modern look. So that's that's my game right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Tim, uh, I know you kind of like have scaled back because you're a long, long time collector. But um, what what, oh. what kind of uh, what are you what are you jamming right now? They don't uh, make Knight Rider stuff though. <laughs> they <laughs> do. Whatever else was from I'm the Data, honest, Data Toys I, makes Knight Rider. I, I I'm a toy fan. I love toys. I, I really I love the action figures. I love the the, the, the what the you know, all the concepts, what the the designs and everything that they put into these these you know into into every toy line that they do, and I mean everything at, from the fan fest. I like something from everything, and I mean like I really don't have like the like the ultimate favorite. There's ob obviously is Optimus Prime, but if I'm looking at everything else, I mean I love the new Transformers they've got like the arc. Just looks amazing, and that's something I could. I mean, I could see myself collecting. I love some of the like, like the um, uh, I think his name is Tech from Star Wars Black. I just love mm -hmm. that figure. I want to get that figure. You know, I've got no idea. I mean, I, I used to be a big Star Wars fan, not so much these days. The Joe stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, like I'm, 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 I'm enjoying. I'm, I'm hoping that we get to see some other great classified figures. The Snake Eyes, the Henry Golding Snake Eyes figure, that like the costume for the new Snake Eyes looks great. Um, I love, I do like the yeah. new Scarlet. Um, Akiko looks, you know, she looks okay. I'm going to be honest. I'm, I'm not, yeah. I'm not a big, huge fan. Yeah. She's so, very so, in, so in general, ninja, yeah, yeah, yeah. The GI Joe is probably your, you know? your biggest jam from all this. Yeah, stuff it is. Well. And I'm going to be honest. I also like it when they get, go out there and they kind of go like really with the creative mm -hmm. side. And I think that's what Fortnite really is holding for me is I just like what they're doing with Fortnite. I like those, like the character concepts, Midas, the Meowsles, uh, you know, the, 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 the guy, the, the guy, the black suited guy, you know, the, the female character link, she just looks really cool. Like they just look great. And there's something you can put on your shelf and really big. They're cool to look at, you know, they're great to mm -hmm. pose with, you know? So, yeah. So, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what, for what else is coming out from Hasbro this year. Yeah. Yeah, cool. So, so we'll start talking a little bit more specific about the toys. So this is where I'm going to incorporate my game. Um, so where I kind of like shine a little more in this. Uh, and, and thanks everyone for tuning in. This is my first real kind of like toy content. So uh, apologies for, you know, like kind of being all over the place. Um, so we're going to take um, all the major releases that we just kind of talked about. And we're going to do an old fashioned draft. So we're going to do a snake draft and choose what we want it, what we would get from from the lineup of toys that were revealed during Hasbro Pulse uh, Fan Fest. Uh, and in doing so, I hope we can get some discussion flowing and that kind of stuff. And we'll all have our kind of little uh, set of toys at the end. And maybe we'll have a, a little kind of like mini contest and who can who, who got the best stash or whatever. So I'm actually going to rearrange this. So I've, I've predetermined the order 
uh, of this ahead of time. So I've, I'm going to kind of move us around so we're in the order that we're supposed to be. So we're going to see some guys moving around. No, I teleported. Right. Yeah, yeah, you teleported. So, all right. So if you're not familiar with a draft, we're basically uh, like like an NBA draft or, you know, some type of sports event. Or if you play Magic or, or one of these card games, um, the, the draft format is we'll have everything on the screen and we'll each take turns in, in this order, um, picking something from that screen that we would, if this was a real convention, we'd be rushing to whatever booth to to grab and we'll see what's what's left and what's not left and what gets taken first. So we can kind of talk about what we what, what is going to be hot so let's let's add i'm going to add to the stream so let me switch this to presentation mode um, so is price see. an so, issue no 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 <laughs> okay <laughs> okay okay yeah. so, I, 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 <laughs> so, so, so yeah. we we did agree that the optimus prime is like not draftable yeah. it's it's yeah i, I it's, originally put the optimus prime in here but let's 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 kind of leave him at the bottom here just because it's a little crazy um so i don't know if you guys notice if anything's missing did i grab the right star wars guys on this picture here i think so or, or are these still yeah so these ones are the right size so we're dealing with everything yeah. basically six inch and up now so um and, and every anyone in the chat if you want to join in and, and mention some figures that you would grab or if you want to let me know how how you what type of figures you like to collect the most so sean uh, do you got, do you have any questions at all i know this might be a little bit foreign to you or yeah yeah so like is there a limit maybe to like how many i can pick or like no no you, so we're going to each uh... pick one at a time so you're going to pick one oh, and then john's okay. going to pick one and he's going to cross and then out i'm going to yeah. pick one and then and then they're going to go under uh, so sean you're you're number one on this chart here um, and then we're going to go kind of okay. back and forth. So we're going to go down to Tim, and then Tim's going to get to choose uh, two in a snake draft style. And it's going to come back up to you, and then you're going to get to choose two. And we'll end up with, let's say, maybe four or five figures each. We'll see how the, the field narrows down and how much time okay. we're up. Yeah, so uh, who, cool, cool. who would be your number one choice um, in what's what's up there right now that you have to have from this? My my number one number one choice, the one figure that I have to have, is it gonna be that modular Iron Man? I've been waiting for that figure for like Sorry, a which long one, time. <laughs> like I had the toys, but the modular Iron Iron Man. Oh, modular Iron Man. One is the eye. Yeah, 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 that one. Yep. Yeah, the, yeah. The, the the night the uh the nineties Iron Man. Yeah, yeah. Though that's that's man. You can't be like Iron Man. No. Like I like I like this guy, the stealth suit guy too. He's pretty cool. But it's not your turn. Yeah, yeah. So, all right, John, Jonathan Yo, Jonathan Yo. Right. Uh, you, you get, you out of those answer. figures, you know, there's no far. I would have to go with that that Galvatron. Galvatron? Yeah, the Galvatron is pretty sweet. That that was. Yeah, yeah. He's, my, he's got the. Favorite. I think he's got the Matrix around his neck, right? Yeah, yeah. he does. Oh, yep. he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, he so, does. so, so I'm guessing it's part of the '86 line that we're kind of seeing figures drop for yep. now. Yeah. Oh man, that's dope. All right, so um. So, so in, in this drafting, we can have all kinds of different themes. It, it can be, you know, the figure that you just straight up want, the figure that you think worth, worth the most money, or you could you can try and put together a fun theme in your head. Um, I could potentially hate draft and grab this Sasha Banks figure from Pat because <laughs> I know he would want it the most. Um, but but I, I I really like um, tracks. I've always wanted a track since I was a kid, and and these new Transformers figures are so nice. So I'm actually surprised that two Transformers are going in the first round so fast. Um, but I, 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 I think I would, I'd, I'd be down with this tracks. Uh, Pat, what do you want? Are you taking me crazy? Girl? No, I don't need her. Nobody else is going to take her. Like if I was at a convention with you four, I would be like, what, what's, why do I need to line up? None of you are going to take it. Right. <laughs> How is it not the arc? That's the arc down there, right? That the is arc, the arc. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It has to so be this guy, this guy transforms into a computer console. Is that what? No, no, no. no, no. He transforms so, into so the arc thing that crashes into Earth. He yeah. comes and then Teletron with transforms a as thing well. that comes into a modular console. Yeah, yeah. So, th so this thing is huge. It's the size of yeah. like what? It's, yeah. it's what do you have that it's the size of? It's it's, it's like, the big one. Yeah, yeah. So it's like a he, Fortress Maximus. Yeah. Don't yeah. don't yeah. don't destroy your whole shelf. About twenty. It's really big. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So Tim, you so in a snake draft, you're actually going to get two choices. So you're going to get yeah. your first uh, choice. I already, I, right now, I already hate Pat because he took he took yeah. the arc. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to say I'm going to take Ursa uh, Major. Oh, Ursa Major. Yeah. I was like I was surprised this build a figure. I I really do like that build a figure. <laughs> I I honestly do. I hope they 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 do a repack. Um, and I'm going to take uh, and I'm going to keep with the Marvel Legends theme right now. I'm going to go with the hologram Iron Man. That hologram Iron Man looks like right out of Tron for me. So I, I got to go with that. Mm. I the gotta pay go. on that was really nice. Yeah. 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 Nice LED under it. 
Yeah. yeah. Like if, <laughs> if I can do an LED behind them or something, that looks amazing. I like what they yeah. did with it. So yeah, I'm good with these ones. Yeah. yeah. So shout outs to Aaron. Thanks for tuning in. Aaron said, uh, Sean's got Iron Man for sure. So he knows <laughs> you. He knows you. I don't know yeah, if you're going to yeah, draft yeah. all Iron Man. He does. He um, does. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so Pat, you get, you get another choice here. What's what you So next now story? I get, so, so we're talking about toys. I have to walk away with, right. Yeah. From this list. And I see only yeah. one. Um, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna hate the Riri because I think the Riri is a really nice figure. The Iron Heart. You're gonna, you're gonna oh, take wow. it from Sean because yep. he's probably going for an Iron Man. Wow. Yeah. Okay. The, I think we spoke right. about this earlier. They, they don't they don't show the Riri head sculpt in here, but it looks really good from what I saw in the picture. Yeah, it, it did look um, good. No, it is yeah. really good. Yeah. All yeah. right. <laughs> what up, Sarah? Uh, so I'm next. I'm actually gonna take. Yeah, I have Agamotto. I I'm. <laughs> Uh, I've never, I've never been a fan of the Eye of Agamotto. I don't think I would rock that when I went out on the street. Um, I actually quite like this hot rod, so I'm going. I'm actually surprised Good. that I'm going with a with a Transformers okay. theme. Um, that guy's the worst. <laughs> hot, hot rod got a bum rap, man. <laughs> <laughs> <He's> <laughs> <a bum laughs> rap. All right, go ahead, John. If he was the last thing uh, left on this list, yeah. I would just walk away. Yeah, you. <laughs> okay, so you're number one. You're lying because you're gonna own this figure in your set because you buy everything Transformers. You already said today that you're a sucker. <laughs> you have to get all these all these Transformers. Technically, you're walking away with. Yeah. Um, so, anyways, John. Than you know, like, I'm gonna keep the Transformers theme and um, I'm gonna grab that Rhinox. Rhinox. Oh, I've yeah. always loved Rhinox. Um, I'm uh, that'll tide me over till the uh, till they make a masterpiece version. Um, but that's my call for now. Gotcha. All right, so Sean, so you actually get two picks, so you can pick two in the snake draft. So we're gonna hit you oh, twice perfect. and then we're gonna come back down. Yeah, okay, so, so I'll keep which, which the your first the Iron Man. I'm gonna get that uh, yeah. that stealth. That's Stealth Iron Man. Yeah, Stealth Iron Man. But now I'm going to switch nice. it over like to the other side. Yeah. For sure. And now I'm going to yeah. switch it over to the Transformer side. I'm going to get that Scorpion yeah. Knock. Oh, Scorpion Knock is, is this guy here? Yeah. 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 What is that silver thing yeah. next to Dark Star and the uh, Guard? That's Ultron. That's, uh, that's an Ultron. That's an Ultron. Oh, that's that's Ultron? Oh, right, Ultron, right, right. Yeah. It's the Ultron. <laughs> All right. Yeah, cool. yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm actually surprised, Aaron, that so much Transformers. I was, I was worried that we didn't have enough Transformers collectors in here, but some of these figures are really nice. Um, so John, it's Jonathan, yo, it's back up to All you. All right. Um, uh, so, uh, this is this is not a hate draft, but I am yeah. taking that Star Wars Sasha Banks figure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was. <Yeah>, you, <laughs> you're, you're probably collecting Mandalorian, right? You need her for your yeah. Mandalorian set. If uh, <laughs> Pat hates it's me okay. now, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I have her WWE elites. It's fine. <laughs> I'll live. Yeah, yeah. So, so so far, um, Star Wars is relatively untouched. That was the first Star Wars pick I think we've had, right? I legitimately don't even know her name in the in the show, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So my choice. I really want to pick this vault card because I love uh, army building, but I, I'm not a fan of the uh, the the body, the buck that they're using. So the posability is not great on it. Uh, I think I will take the the Henry Golding uh, Snake Eyes though. Okay, so yeah, first pick from the movie line. Yeah, yeah. So I, even if you don't like the head sculpt, the the GI Joe the Snake Eyes figure is probably one of the best figures that came out in I think it was 2020. Um, so it, I imagine if this is just a movie kind of re yeah, redux, yeah, then, then, right then everyone's gonna definitely want that one. Yeah, yeah, like sick figure. Even though he's so kind of For basic, sure. you want to call it. He's just all black. Um, but they just did such a good job with him. Pat, who, who's your third pick? Um, ooh, ooh. I'm gonna take whatever it is that comes with all those blast effects. It's the rhinoceros, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah I want the blast. Yeah. At this point, uh, I want the blast tops. effects. Yeah, you want I want accessories. That. Yeah, the figure, the figure <laughs> is secondary the here. I just want the blast effects now. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. All right. So, Tim, you're gonna you get two choices again. So, uh, what, what do you want to take first? Uh, first, I hate you because you took the snake eyes. Uh, <laughs> but, you had a chance, dude. <laughs> I you did. Had two I got, picks. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You picked yeah. Two Iron Man and a Tiger. <laughs> I, I can pick two again. Russians. You took Ursa Major. I can pick two again. Yes, yes. that's how. Oh, I'll okay, all right, all right, all right. So, um, okay, I'm going to take the Scarlet. Oh, Scarlet good choice, good choice. Yeah, she does. She was a nice sculpt. I like mm -hmm. the head sculpt, the character, the figure. Like it did look good. Um, I still like the classified one just a little bit more, but I'm I'm cool with the the the, the movie one 
Um, uh, this is a tough one because it's it is that guardsman because I'm looking at that guardsman and I'm looking at uh, I'm, I might I don't know. Um, uh, I gotta go. Uh, I gotta go with my boy. I want. I'll, I'll take the Lando. 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 All right. Is is it a cloth cape? I can't. I, yeah, it, it is. Cape. It is yeah. like a huge cloth cape. Like yeah. it's flowing. It's a nice cape. Oh man. All right, cool. So it's th that was a yeah. Star Star Wars getting chewed away. So no no Power Ranger picks yet. Uh, I know Pat, you're into Power Rangers now. You only uh, MMPR. Uh, yeah, yeah, the original. So, so I, uh, just so, to say, so, some people are asking where the Pink Ranger was. Um, we're just doing stuff that was shown that was shown at the event. The Pink Ranger is actually already out, so it is out yeah, in the yeah. wild. You can the, get the metallic you can get it metallic if you can Ranger find you can it. Order. Yes. Yeah. All right, Pat. What's your what's your fourth pick? Um, I think I would actually take the sentry now because I think he's like that that Tyrannosaurus sentry. Oh, that's this, a nice this figure. thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, and it's a combiner yeah. too, eh? That's gonna come out. There's gonna be other components to it. It is a nice figure. Yep. Yeah. yeah, it's part of that. It's part of that Boom Studio stuff, right? So like, it, it doesn't get enough love. But I'll tell you, I, I would I would take that. No, what? What are you talking what? about? What? No, I, no, I want the I want the Red Ranger. No, no, he wants what? the Red Ranger one. Oh, the Red Ranger. One, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nobody yeah. wants that bone thing. Yeah, I was, I was like, I was like, this thing. I thought you said bone something, Nobody and I was like, what? That <laughs> that's that's destined to be on store shelves forever, um, until it like uh, maybe five dollars sale at EB or something, at any something like that. Uh, shout outs to EB Games. Um, so I'm actually gonna take. Oh man, sorry, sorry. This Optimus is not on the table. Uh, let's see, I'm, di I'm digging this aura. This aura thing. I think she just looks cool. Ooh, okay. She was in half a second in Phantom Menace. Yeah. <laughs> she's she's always yeah, she's always been kind of like that character, like, almost like a Boba Fett type, like original Boba Fett, where yeah. just like she looked cool in the background. I feel like she's had multiple toys. Uh I remember we had like a doll figure of her that didn't look that great, but it was kind of funny to see it uh in action. Uh, all right, John, what are you what are you gonna take for your fourth pick? Ooh. I am going with Tough choices, tough choices. You know what? I will stick with uh, tech from the Star Wars line. Now I hate yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? This, this guy here, right? Yeah. 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 Yep. He was cool looking. I was actually really impressed with how he looked uh, when they did yeah. the reveal. I like his. I like the fact that he comes with a bunch of gear. And yeah, he, he's, he's nice looking. I like what, him. What's he from? Is he like a Bad he's Batch? From the, bad Batch. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So do is, does anybody know? Do Are there, are there other Batch Bat figures out already? Yeah. Did they? Okay, yeah. Some some of them are hitting. Uh, I think in the U.S., some people are seeing them, but over here, yeah. I think there's three of them are already been uh, have already been revealed, and oh wow, okay. two two of them have already been I think released in the states, right? Right. So, okay, but we haven't seen yeah. them up here yet. Okay, no. I, I think sporadically, I've seen some people post them, so I don't know how mm -hmm. easy or hard they are to get right now. But you know, we've pre-ordered them. Who knows when they're going to show up? All right, Sean, you get you get your final. Final two picks, so we're going to take this to five figures each, and then we'll kind of talk about who's left over and, and who was picked up earlier, and then we'll wrap All this right. up. And thank you again for, for joining us. I, I see a bunch of people in the chat who aren't really uh, into toys as, as we are, so thanks for joining in the fun with us. Uh, go ahead, Sean. What's your first first of uh, okay. last two picks? Cool, cool. Uh, Do it, Fat Thor. Take that, uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I'm going for, that Endgame Thor. <laughs> You want Endgame Thor? Yeah. Well, he's gonna be definitely one of the. It's things. called Bro Thor. I need to get the, um, <laughs> Bro Thor. Yeah. <laughs> I need to get the um the Mark eighty five Iron Man, but uh, he's not on here. But I think the the last figure I'm gonna be picking, I'm gonna go with the Blur, the Shadow Blur. Glass blur. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Shadow Glass Blur. Yeah. Boom. Look at that. It's Endgame Thor, John. Fat Thor is a yeah. builder figure. Get it right. Oh yeah. Okay. Thor sorry. Thor was a builder figure. Get it right. <laughs> oh yeah. He had the like the red shirt and the. Yeah, the like, he had the like, like the PJs. Pajamas or something like that. Yeah. All right. All right, John. Well, right. Go ahead, your, <laughs> my your, very yeah, last chair. Right, <laughs> um, I'm going home with uh, the Marvel Legends Ultron. Ultron. Yeah. Oh man, Ultron! So this is like a classic comic book style Ultron. Yeah, like. and and he has an accessory of that figure where it's just like the the orange coming out of his mouth. Yeah, so there's oh. an accessory that oh, fits yeah, in his yeah, mouth, yeah. which was like, pretty like, cool. Like fire of his mouth, like yeah. the old yep. school like Kirby style. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yep. 
and it's even it's even bubbly the way it was in the from the comics panel so it was pretty sweet yeah uh, let's see all right so my final pick i would really like to pick this guard but i think you the body is so bad do i get a do i grab a storm shadow to match my snake eyes you know tim's gonna take it if you don't <laughs> i don't know he's got, he's got a bunch of other other choices um I, th I think I think I'm gonna go with this new character here, Akiko and, and Spec. Akiko, okay. Yeah, yeah, uh, Asian female action figure. I think I gotta I think I gotta roll with that. <laughs> All right, go go ahead, Pat. Your final choice. I would take the Dark Star and try to work out a trade with Tim for the Ursa Major and finish my Winter Guard. <laughs> never, <laughs> never gonna happen. Why would you ever give up that Ursa Major oh, build a figure? <laughs> I'll give him the Ark. <laughs> oh man. Is that a fair trade? What's what do you think the arc's gonna retail for? Or did has one fifty nine ninety nine US oh, US yeah. No. yeah. He's a he's a big boy though. Uh my la uh, okay, so I, I got right, Tim, so uh, I am figure. not taking uh, I'm not taking Storm Shadow. And the nope, reason right. why is is I don't like the cost uh, the, the color of the uniform that he's wearing of the gi. Um I would prefer him to have been in uh more of an uh white closer to an off-white maybe even like cream color more than this bone color look i don't like this um i'm just being honest i really don't uh he really needs to uh have come out i'm hoping they come out with a like a more classic version of him uh, for the mm -hmm. classified line this i just i'm not a fan i love the face sculpt of the actor uh from, yeah i love the actor movie. playing him he's he's from the warrior i believe right he's that that face sculpt was actually really nice looking i like the henry golding uh, face sculpt as well i think the face sculpts are really good I'm just not a fan of what they did with the color scheme for this for this figure. So I'm actually going to take that uh, um, that guardsman because I actually like the guard guardsman from the '90s uh, Iron Man cartoon. And this so, guy here, the Volt guardsman. Uh, yeah, yeah, the Volt guardsman. I actually think he looks really really cool. Um, I always like those those kind of like off, you know, like they're the Iron Man suits, but they weren't like part, like Iron Man like Tony Stark. He made them for for people for for the regular uh, grunts out there, and I thought that was leg really Iron Man. Cool. Yeah, so I like yeah. that. I like that one. I like that fuck too. So yeah, yeah. I, I remember. I remember them fighting against Venom and Lethal Protector or something yeah. like that. I remember Venom just like yeah. They, like, I, like from what I understand, uh, like someone goes like I think one of the some I I, I don't know my my Iron Man lore as much as best as, as like Andre does or anyone else, but I believe mm -hmm. like one of the the um, uh, uh, characters goes crazy because he he takes the cost, takes the the suit, and it makes him go nuts. So that's all I remember. I recall from it, but I just love the greens. I love how it looks, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So quick shout out to Lewis. Lewis mentions nobody picked the seven hundred seven hundred dollar prime. Yeah, no, we 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 actually took him off the table. He's just there. Uh, chewing oh, I would have picked him over first. There. He would have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First. He, <laughs> I feel like he would have been first pick no matter what, even just value for money wise. Uh, so yeah. let's talk a little bit. So we've got our five figures. So let's let's. Let's take a look at what was not chosen and, and see, I guess, uh, if these are necessarily duds of the con or just figures that were just not interested. So I think that, like, the entire, I think, the Star Wars vintage line is pretty much here, except for, I think, the, the or is Aura Singh part of the vintage line? Yeah. Did, did I grab the... Oh, no, so, no, 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 Aura Singh's, a, Aura Singh's from the black line. line. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so so all the vintage line is pretty much here. Yeah. It's like, yeah. this hand so long ways. Yeah, so it, it might just be because they're reduxes of older characters. <laughs> And we've we've been around a while, and maybe we just don't need them. So, so we don't. So I feel like that's the reason why they're there. Um, these these Power Rangers they exist in regular paint schemes, right? So maybe that's if they were not if they, they were not the sparkling ones, and people didn't already have the regular ones, people I would I would have taken them. Yeah. yeah. So, so so so. But that got pink no Ranger that that pink metallic that's out now seems to be selling pretty well. Is that just because it's a pink Ranger or? Is it? If I remember correctly, it's not even Kimberly. I think it's Cat. Okay. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. I. If I remember correctly, I'm gonna Google it right now. But I don't think that metallic pink ranger is even Kimberly. Okay. Yeah. It comes with like a cat yeah, head. The 90s where they... okay. yeah, yeah, but yeah. but essentially they're just re reduced. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Sean. We can. Yeah. Can you get in your mic a little more, or like, or I don't know if your mic's blocked. Oh, me. Oh, can barely hear you. Can you? Can you hear me? Let me see. How about now? Uh, we can still be, yeah, we, it's, it's still a little low, but we'll, we'll work with it. Um, so, yeah, so, sorry, Sean, you were okay. saying? Uh, yeah, so I, yeah, I think with, with that, it was just something with the, in the TV show where they were like, 
sort of like a glimmer armor, but that's really mm -hmm. it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, it's, so, it's, so it's a color variation. So I kind of see why yeah. why that's happening. So so who has no excuse? So this 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 guy here, <laughs> who we've already determined is going to be some type of peg warmer. Um, yeah. So those those of you who, who don't know what a peg warmer is, it's a figure that basically just ends up, nobody wants it. It sits on the shelf and it just keeps the, the pegs on the shelf yeah. warm. I so think it's, maybe someone I, will buy it. I think it's meant for Sorry, it is, I, I think it's meant for a combiner. Like it's meant for a big like like a dino skeleton combiner that's coming yeah. out. Yeah. So I think it, it, I think once they all come out, I think it's going to be an interesting figure to see. Um, I'm not sure if that's like the foot, if that's an arm, if that's like the head. I, I don't know. So, they're, you know, they're, so. They're, they're, like all three of them. So that pterodactyl, the triceratops, the T-Rex that came out, the little velociraptor. Like we 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 call them parts formers because they're not really they don't actually transform because in order to transform you have to break them apart and put them back together. Oh, okay. So the robot oh, okay. forms are really really clunky. Yeah. Uh, right. As for you know, like for me, for the rest of what what's was the leftovers. I already mentioned about Storm Shadow for me. Baroness yeah. was cool looking as well, but I prefer like the the, the Scarlet, the Samara weaving uh, a figure of Scarlet. I think that looks really great. The three and three quarter inch line, I I've kind of uh, steered away from that as a collector these days. It's just they're too yeah. small for me these days, and and I find that the um you know sculpts look great articulation hasn't been that great and you know i don't have the space to, to do all the card backs on my wall or anything um, yeah yeah, yeah. So yeah this, this baroness is pretty nice yeah. right to my understanding yeah. it does it, look it, like a, it's like a bluish yeah 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 it does look uh, good. the I'm, gun is pretty cool on that baroness um it has a removable barrel and a removable clip so that that's that's pretty cool i have a feeling that gun will end up in a lot of other classified figures instead of her yeah. What, what about this guy? Out. This this guy is from the new line, right? This this guy here. He's Star Wars. Yeah, the, yeah. Mando. Yeah, he, yeah he's, he's the bounty Mando. hunter from Mandalorian, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 Um, I, I just like even same thing. Like even with like the the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger figures, I I, I like the I like the articulation. I like what the like the fact that they really are trying to support the line. I like that they come with a lot of accessories, but I really have no connection to the characters. I mean, there's some stuff that looks really cool. And I kind of want to get it, but. I don't have that shelf space really to, to, to sort of invest into them, but they're great looking. I mean, don't get they they're great. I love how they've they've kept to the aesthetics. I like how um, all the the face sculpts of the of the uh, figures look like the like the actors uh, and from the characters mm. from the TV show. You know, I think yeah. they it's just a great thing. The Eye of Agamotto, I love that thing. I think that's just great. But again, it's cosplay for me, and I just don't do that. Yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. I feel like we're just we're just not into the the prop up because if there was a Captain yeah. America shield up there yeah. from. Uh, uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier. I feel like we all would have taken. I'm pretty sure they already Falcon. announced one. Yeah, they I don't did. Know yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. They definitely yeah. announced one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so, There's so looking at our picks, um, so I, th I feel like the fifth pick was almost kind of like we were just taking whatever was kind of kicking around. So maybe our, our, our hey, don't don't insult four. Ultron. Don't insult Ultron. Yeah. <laughs> don't insult yeah. Dark Star. I feel like <laughs> all of her. our all of our first four picks are a little bit better indication of what we really want to kind of see from. Yeah. From Hasbro, so Sean's got his two his two Iron Mans here. Um, would would you have went for the full Iron Man set? Would you have taken a Riri and the hologram uh, armor if you if you just had to pick four figures from this reel? Oh, sorry, oh, I can't no. hear you, Sean. I'm uh, happy with just those two. Oh, happy with those two. Yeah, how about okay. no, any yeah. better? It's it's slightly better. Yeah, uh, yeah. Bit. No, I definitely go. I'll, I'll definitely just stick with the two Iron Mans, to be honest. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So you're good with two Iron Mans, and then you mixed it up with a little Thor and yeah. and Scorpnock action. Um, John, you got you got basically old school Transformer with a Beast Wars dude, uh, and then you got some Star some Star Wars, a Mandalorian yep. and Bad Bat stuff. Um, I feel like that's pretty solid. I've got I've got mostly vintage Transformers here, and then uh, this is kind of a mixed bag. Uh, I think the Snake Eyes figure is definitely going to be the best out of the line, and and Orsing, I just like her color scheme. Pat, you've got like a really kind of mishmash of stuff here. <laughs> um it's 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 the arc and a bunch yeah. of effects and a dark star everything else is yeah. filler <laughs> <laughs> well i think this power ranger guy is pretty sweet yeah so yeah i think i think, I'm, I, think I probably forgot to pull a picture of him earlier um yeah. and then tim you've got like a, a a little bit of everything as well uh like me yeah if we had fortnite legends. up here i i probably would pick more yeah. my, my line would have been all the fortnite figures yeah yeah oh, man <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think I think I think we're all pretty impressed with that Fortnite line. So I feel like out of all the reveals, so let me take this off the screen. So that was that was fun. Thanks guys for participating in that. And hopefully uh anybody watching had a little bit of fun with that and 
uh, and, and maybe you get a feel for what was uh, kind of impressive and kind of like uh, underwhelming or or not as well received from uh, from the reveals from Hasbro Fan Fest. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah. So I think generally um, I feel like all of us were most excited about the Fortnite stuff. Am, Which am was right? weird like, for me. Um, yeah. I wasn't expecting it. I'm, I don't play Fortnite at all. Um, you know, it's um, – but when I saw those things, man, I was I was like – I gotta get these. Right. <laughs> yeah, Sh Sean, are, are you are you were you most excited for something else, or you like the Fortnite stuff, or what, what did you really like from the fan fest? Uh, mainly, I really I really wanted to see the legends, and then hopefully to see more Beast Wars stuff. Uh, but then, mm -hmm. I mean, let's be honest, that Optimus Prime came out of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so that auto transforming Optimus, which yeah, every everybody started posting links of that. So people who aren't even into toys, so it, you know, I think it's working for what what they wanted to do. So, so you're saying Optimus Prime stole the show for you, uh, Jonathan Yo. I think you're saying Fortnite. Um, I think I was most uh, looking forward to seeing new Fortnite stuff. Um, what about what about you, Pat? What, are you happy with these Transformers releases? I'm actually most excited about the arc. Yeah. Because every year's Titan release is the most exciting one. Right. Yeah. Right. Like, I didn't expect the Optimus. It's great. It's sold out already. I'm not even going to think about it because then I'm just going to feel bad. <laughs> so everything else, it's the arc, man. I can live without the Fortnite stuff. I can live without the Optimus Prime, but I can't. I'm, I'm not going to live without the arc, dude. Not possible. Yeah. So, so Tim, you joined me and we did a we did GI Joe podcast a, a little while ago. So Henry Golding uh, opening up his own action figure. Um, so overall, I, we, we've already kind of heard what your overall thoughts about this Joe line, but do, do, do you think uh, that, that Joe reveal, like seeing seeing a famous actor open his own action figure for the first time was kind of cool to see? Um, I, I mean, I've seen I, I, I'm seeing Harrison Ford go gaga over his, you know, uh, Indiana Jones figures. I've seen I've seen him like other actors do the same thing. Um, I thought it was great. I mean, him seeing it was really cool. The fact that again, like when you saw the the, the face sculpt of it, I thought that was really good. Um, particularly when you know side by side almost comparison between the the actor and his action figure, I thought that was great. I loved that they uh, they they did showcase the uh, the new figure, and I love like again I do like the aesthetic of the movie line. It does look good. Um, I mean, I've already mentioned what I, I, I love Storm Shadow as being kind of like the the least of my favorites at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, I I mean, for me, I knew about the uh, I knew about. Um, Hasbro getting the six inch license for Fortnite, and I'm um, actually was very impressed with what I saw. So I'm looking forward to seeing those on the shelves. I'm, I'm actually wanting like get the chance to look look at them close up. Um, all like everything was a really good highlight of seeing what you know what what Hasbro's kind of bringing uh, out um, in the industry. So I think it's really good to see all that stuff. Um, I mean, obviously, I mean, I the kid in me just jumped for joy when it saw the uh, transformable Optimus Prime. Uh, yeah. You know, if, if I was a millionaire, I'd have definitely made that be like my day one purchase kind of thing. Uh, you you know, don't need to be a millionaire. Of, you just you need know. to be a thousand dare. <laughs> uh, you know, the, the arc figure, I actually I'm very impressed. I like that figure, too. I think it's just that would be a great thing with, on the shelf. I'm, I'm hoping it's nice. It's big and it's beefy. I'm happy that it's got ratchet joints. You know, I, I like that. I, I like that. I mean, again, I enjoyed everything. Yeah. Um, you know, I think for me, the really one that kind of sort of caught my, my eye, like really stood out for me though, was tech from the bad batch from star Wars black. Mm -hmm. I was very impressed mm -hmm. with like, he comes with all the extra accessories and his helmet comes off. I thought that was great, you know? And so, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to all of this stuff. I can't wait to see a lot of it. Um, you know, the Joe stuff, I like it. Um, I was, I guess the, the biggest disappointment for me was no classified figures from the eighties line, which I was a yeah. little disappointed at, but yeah. I, was, I know we why. See Alley where's our Alley Vipers. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, where's our Alley Vipers. Oh, I can't wait for that figure. I can't <laughs> yeah. wait. You know, yeah. even like for me, Armored Cobra Commander, I'd love to see that figure if they yeah. did an updated version of that. Oh, too. that's a, you that's know? a classic. Yes. For those of you yeah. don't know the art, the, the Cobra Commander wearing the silver helmet, he had silver and blue oh, dude. Yeah. outfit. A lot of us, yeah, yeah. a lot of us, eighties uh, kids. I feel so, like we know that you know, Cobra so, Commander more than you know. the. So it was interesting. Cobra I when they were doing the Joe Joe reveal, they actually before they got into the classifieds, they got they they kind of had like they've got like a six inch kids line that they kind of revealed, and I was actually more impressed with some of the designs off the six inch kids line than I was the actual classifieds. 
Yeah, yeah, I think yeah that like that that stuff. white storm shadow looked really yeah. good. The the what was it? The 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 red ninjas and um night creeper or the 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 dark um the other kind of like army guy. Night creeper. I can't remember what they were called. Yeah, the night creepers. All those are I was like, "Whoa, man, those are actually pretty yeah. well designed like just kind of concept wise and look wise." Yeah. I think the biggest concept that failed for me out of that the, that's new stuff was seeing them putting the uh, um, the storm shadow on his bike and seeing him twist around <laughs> as the action as the action feature. I'm like, oh, that was dumb. No, <laughs> it was just so bad. Yeah, yeah, I mean, some of these concepts are from the six inch kid line for GI Joe. Look really great. The Baroness looked good. The Scarlet looked good. The storm mm -hmm. shadow. I thought the storm shadow. I, I actually was hoping they would reveal the. The classified version of that and i thought that would have been just awesome to see that yeah. you know uh i mean like i think people are actually going to probably buy that kid six inch figure of that the kid line storm shadow as a stand-in until they release a, a classified version you know yeah. um, even from the video game it'd be great to see the video game version of of a storm shadow you know yeah so you know um i like how even with and I, again i because I, I love how action figures they always come up with new technology they are introducing uh they're the other company now that's introducing pinless technology in their joints which is something that looks really good so uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to that particularly with the female figures because now female figures now will have double jointed knees and double jointed elbows which i think is great so yeah 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 no i, th I think yeah so overall yeah I, th I think we're we're happy with the the result that I, I know there are some some you know not so stellar figures and that kind of stuff um so let, let's 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 wrap it up thank you so much for joining us guys um thank you for participating in this guys thanks for uh jumping on for for the last minute and hopefully we no can worries. Uh, do this again for the for the for the next one um sean uh, you guys just have a you, your pre-orders are open for for the latest uh t-shirt drop i believe yeah yeah so i actually have it right here um Ooh. basically Ooh. this is the t-shirt here for those of you that are collecting different kind of action figures and I, I hope just to confirm can everyone hear me properly now yeah yeah they're much better yeah perfect perfect yeah so these are the plunderlings line of figures um dope action figures they come with all different types of accessories and when it comes to action figures we love our accessories right so uh we made a couple designs with the t-shirts so the pre-orders were actually to be um to end on sunday but we're actually going to extend it so you guys have another opportunity to get that uh by next week which i believe is the 19th i'm not 100 percent sure uh i think it should be the 19th but yeah it comes in three designs the one i'm holding up right now is the uh raider foosh and the other three is the captain teal and then my personal favorite is the zombone uh, so definitely get uh get your hands on those if you're interested and if you're a marvel legends collector we do still have these ones yeah. in stock. I got, I got, I got my Shang, my Shang T on. Shang T <laughs> right there. Yeah. Um, we got the Legends uh, Never Die T-shirt. Um, so if you collect Marvel Legends, this is the T-shirt for you. Check it out at www.taxhf.ca. Yeah. Yeah, link, link, will, link will be in the description of this video. Um, thanks for joining us, Sean. So hopefully we'll do some more stuff uh, coming up. We want to really do some Mortal Kombat stuff and, and things like that. Yeah. Oh, Jonathan, right. Yo, thank you so much for... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, Thank you so much for, for putting a lot of this stuff together the best for me. Character uh, and, ever. And grabbing me pictures. Yeah, is he better than Sub Zero though? Uh, we'll have to we'll have to cover nah. that in the, in our in our in our podcast. Well, Jonathan, we'll have to just after the, the movie. Yeah. We'll see who lives after yeah. the movie. Yeah, yeah. That'll, that'll yeah, see who lives and dies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jonathan, you are, are there any projects you want to make us aware of or not? Or uh, nope, not really. Nope. Yeah, yeah. So hope, hopefully, John will be working with me on on some stuff. We want to do some. Uh, cyberpunk and some other things john john runs cool. like, great games if you guys are into board gaming and stuff like that when we were allowed to run games at the shop you'd find them dropping by every once in a while and we'd learn a brand new game so hopefully we'll be doing some other content um pat you also you'll see them all over the place on a lot of our videos um and tim any anything you're working on right now that you want to drop or uh well i i mean uh i guess I, i'll just mention i mean the, the thing i'm really looking forward to i'm not working on anything at the moment but what i'm really what we're eager for is uh the new toy line from valiverse uh i'm not gonna drop any names but you know i'm looking forward to getting those in once you guys get them in at the store and not get a chance to review those that's coming up soon so i'm i'm definitely looking for the, forward to those and uh yeah i mean i can't wait to see what comes out from san diego from from all the from toy companies um i know uh, WizKids has got the magic of the gathering license so they're going to be doing a whole bunch of toy lines for that 
Um, so, I mean, I'm, I'm just looking for, for whatever else is coming out this year, yeah. you know? All right. Cool. Cool. All right. Thanks again, everyone for, for tuning in. Um, if you guys like toy content, let me know. I know I kind of put this together hastily, so I uh, hope you don't mind bearing with me. Um, but if you want to see more of this type of stuff and then uh, Kev, uh, who's uh, toying around? He, he was making fun of Sean for not wearing his plunderling shirt. Um, but he, <laughs> there it is, I guess. I, I let him know last minute, you know, so he didn't, <laughs> he didn't have time to uh, wash it and and iron it. Um, he he runs a great stream every Thursday night where they just unbox figures and he talks with all kinds of great uh, toy people from the YouTube community. So it's a fantastic fun. Um, and then we uh, here was World uh, Sidekick Show is live every Monday at 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. Tune in on the live show for that. Get in the chat. And our Heroes World podcast drops new episodes all, all every week. Uh, and then we do these kind of random trips. So this is a mutation of our trailer reaction uh, series, but this is kind of like toy convention reaction or whatever. Uh, but thank you again, everyone, for tuning in. And uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much, guys, for, for joining me. See ya.